Welcome mathematicians to another video on matrices. In today's video we'll be looking at transition matrices. In this video we'll be looking at using transition matrices to work backwards to find a previous state matrix. So task number one, solve for the matrix S4. First of all we have a recurrence relation where Sn plus 1 means the next state, T is the transition matrix and Sn is the current state. So we have below a transition matrix, as always, all the columns add up to one. We have a third state matrix, a three by one matrix, and we're asked to calculate the fourth state matrix, the next state matrix in the sequence. So first of all, the visual. We have our initial state, our first, our second, our third, and we're transitioning to our fourth. To find the fourth state matrix, we simply multiply the third state by the transition matrix. And there it is represented as a diagram. So state four is equal to the transition matrix, which we have in front of us, multiplied by the state three matrix, which we have here. When we multiply those two matrices together, we find the state four matrix is 152, 230, and 218. Task number two. We have the same transition matrix. We have the same third state, but this time we want to know the second state matrix. Instead of moving forward in our recurrence relation, we're moving backwards to S2, the second state. Again, we have a recurrence relation. We have the same transition matrix. We have our third state matrix and we wish to calculate our second state matrix. So visually, with our transition matrices, again, we have our initial, our second, and we're moving from this time, the third matrix to the second matrix. So to find the third matrix, we multiplied our second matrix by the transition matrix as shown here. In this scenario, S2 is our unknown matrix. We want to undo all this mathematically to find out what is S2. So instead of multiplying by the transition matrix, we're going to do the reverse mathematical function, and that is to divide by the transition matrix. However, you cannot divide by matrix, but we can, of course, multiply by its inverse, which has the same effect. So to find the second transition state, we take S3 and we multiply it by the transition matrix inverse. And that provides an answer of S2 equals 200, 200, and 200 in a three by one matrix. Task number three, we want to do something similar, except this time we want to calculate the first state. We want to go back two sequences in our recurrence relation. So again, we have our recurrence relation, we have our transition matrix, we have our third state, and we want to work backwards to the first state matrix. So looking at this visually, we're starting at the third and we're transitioning back to the first. It involves two transitions. To work out the third state, you take your state one and you multiply it by the transition squared. It's effectively having the transition occur twice. Here it is as an expression, only this time we wish to calculate S1, the first state. Instead of multiplying by the transition squared, we do the reverse mathematics and that is to divide by the transition squared. But as we just recalled earlier, you can't divide by a matrix. However, you can multiply by its inverse. So to transition from state three to state one, which is two transitions, we need to multiply by the inverse matrix squared. Inverse matrix squared multiplied by the third state will give us state one, which has an answer of 400, 200, and zero in a three by one matrix. Task number four, slightly different. What we have now is a forcing matrix recurrence relation. So here's our recurrence relation. Here's our transition matrix. Here's our third state. Here's our forcing matrix D and we want to calculate the fourth state matrix. So this is a simple moving forward projection. So visually, here's our recurrence relation with our different states, zero, one, two. We're moving here from three to four again. However, it's not as simple as simply multiplying by a transition matrix because we have this additional forcing matrix plus D to consider. Let's look at this visually. So the first step is to take the third state matrix and multiply it by the transition matrix. We do this, and then the second step was to add the forcing matrix, which is shown here, 40, 40, and 40. When we complete that calculation, it's very easy to predict that the fourth state matrix is a three by one matrix with the elements 2076, 2344, and 1820. Moving backwards, this time again, we have the recurrence relation. We have the same transition matrix. We have the same third state matrix. We have the forcing matrix D. However, this time we're working backwards to the second state matrix. S2 is our question mark. In this scenario, we are moving from state four to state three using this particular recurrence relation. Let's look at the transition from state two to state three. First of all, we multiply by the transition matrix as we have below. Then the second step is to add the forcing matrix to generate the state three matrix. 
here's our forcing matrix being added. Now in this scenario, we're not moving forward, we're moving backwards. We're trying to calculate the second state. Mathematically, the first step to unravel this matrix expression is to remove this forcing matrix from the right-hand side. So at the moment, it's plus 40, 40, 40, a three by one matrix. Let's now subtract that across to the left-hand side to remove it from the right-hand side. So the reverse of adding is subtraction. We subtract the 40, 40, 40 from the right to the left. And now we're gonna simplify this expression. So we take 40 from each term and we end up with the following expression. Now this looks very, very similar to what we've been doing in previous examples. All we have to do now to remove this transition matrix is to divide it away. Or in matrix terminology, we need to multiply by its inverse matrix. So finally, to find S2, we take the inverse of the transition matrix as shown below, and we multiply it to the matrix calculated previously, which gives us an answer of 1,600, 2,000, 2,400. You've been watching a Juddy Productions video. If you've enjoyed and indeed learned something from this video, then please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.